The Cat's Pajamas. Written and illustrated by Wallace Edwards. Published by Kids Can Press. Idiom. A group of words whose meaning cannot be understood from the meaning of the individual words. An expression peculiar to a specific language that cannot be translated literally. The more Mr. Cat sewed, the more he got the hang of it. On the day of his art show, Vincent was so nervous he didn't know if he was coming or going. As judge of the Tiny Tot Talent Contest, Leon had to face the music. Beryl thought constantly about her big hat collection. She had a real bee in her bonnet. The clothesline club loved hanging out. Their motto was, birds of a feather flock together. No matter where he went, Inspector Reinhold always thought something smelled fishy. Blanche discovered that finding her way home from the party was a piece of cake. As soon as he started his new job, Harold's ears were ringing. Wade had never driven a submarine before, so he couldn't wait to get his feet wet. As much as the sugar bunnies enjoyed traveling, they were always happy to return to their home sweet home. Although they frequently disagreed, when it came to staying dry, Foxworth and Featherstone saw eye to eye. By his second time around on the happy hurler, Hammy was having more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Gerard was terrible at tying bows, but Claudia could always be counted on in a pinch. The Oasis Express was running late, so Camilla had to cool her heels. The Waddle Rockets finally began to pick up speed once Little Red got her ducks in a row. Tina's day was going great, until she realized she had a tiger by the tail. In order to have dinner music, Andy was forced to use his noodle. Ahab didn't mind if one got away. He knew there were plenty more fish in the sea. As expected, Barney graduated with flying colors. Horace and Shelley sometimes preferred moving at a snail's pace. After he got a frog in his throat, Big Bill couldn't sing a note. The sight of Sir William's new painting made Anita hold her tongue. The great jazz musician Lane Poet liked to blow his own horn. When it came to cartooning, Elsie had a lot to draw on. Florence often felt bored surfing, but it was easier to just go with the flow. Princess knew that when everything comes together just so, it's truly the cat's pajamas.